Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how to install your own extensions with TYPO3 Composer Mode. In my case, I am running a TYPO3 V11 with Composer Mode uh, enabled and running over DDEV with Docker Container. So now, the pro I mean, it's not a problem, but uh, the thing is right now, when you're running in Composer Mode, you can't just go to uh, like this drop down and go to get extensions. No, you have to install them via Composer directly. And in my case, I have to do it with DDEV Composer. So it's just the same like when you're working with Composer directly, but I have just to add like this DDEV Composer command um, before I can put everything inside of it. I have just created this site package from sitepackagebuilder.org or .com, I don't know, .com I think. And this is just the simple fluid style content site package that has just all information about the extension that I am using here. I've extracted it and put it into the folder, which is the same name of the extension. When you don't know the key for, for the extension, just go into your composer.json and inside of that, you can see the vendor, that is this one here, and the extension key, in this case, a common template. Now we know the name of the extension, but we have to create a folder to just like load the extensions that we are creating from ourselves. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to create your own repository. It's just a folder really. Um, and we have to do some modifies of the composer.json that you've got in your root folder inside of your DDEV installation. Or I mean, when you're working on a page with, with composer, uh, this will be the composer.json from the root directory. Let's open it up. And as you can see, I've already scrolled completely down. You can just go down here and create a new line, but don't forget the comma. In my case, I want to create a new repository. So I just write repositories and it just opens everything up for me already. But I have to add a bracket as well because I want to add some more extensions later on. And in my case, I can just make it a little bit better looking here like this and this and now we write all information that we need for our folder repository inside of here so the type will be i forget this every time the type will be a path then we have to define the url this will be a folder that you're running from your root directory so you can uh, just easily create just a folder here inside of here. I will call it extensions, for example. You can call it whatever you want. And this will be the name of the folder. So and now we have to enable one option because we want to use a Zim link to provide the extension inside our typo 3 conf folder. So for that, we just have to write options and this will be a new option, so we have to open this with, with curly brackets. And inside of this we call simlink and we say true. This will create a simlink to our typo 3 conf extension folder to provide everything that we need for our typo 3 installation. Now that this is completed, we can close this file and go inside our extensions folder that we have just created and put our extension decompressed inside of it. So don't put the zip inside of it, but the whole folder. And don't forget to rename it correctly. So it just has to be the composer.json name. And in my case, I just, I just failed that as well. It's not an underscore. So let's close this up. And now we can work with our composer as usual. So we just write ddev composer require. And now we put in the name, uh, the vendor and the name of the extension. You can just copy that from here. I put it inside of this. And after that, you ha we have to define a version. And in the case of you are just working with um, development extensions, so extension that you've created your own that don't have a repository online or something, you can just write at dev. This will add the version, the development version of that. Another thing you can check is on packages.org, for example, when you want to, I don't know, 
let's Okay, uh, let's get PowerMail here. When you want to install uh, PowerMail via Composer, you can use the versions here as well. So when you got an older installation of your of your Typo 3 and are running it over Composer, I don't know, you can choose the version which is st uh, which is here. So click on this, and the require will be the same, but you can just write. Uh, something like this and the version down here so when i run this command now this will install my extension and that's already it so when i go into my um, installation and reload the extension page it should now show my eldor.com template and as you can see the dev main as version so it's not a really running version that I've uh, just created. It's just a dev version. So now I can create a page for <laughs> first. That's the th first thing here. Create a new template. Go into info modify. Go into includes. And now it should be here. So we can use our extension that we just created inside typo three. So it's really that simple to just create your own extensions and let them run locally on your, for example, DDEV Composer installation. If you got some questions, just ask me, write a comment. If you like the video, like the video, and I will see you in the next video. See ya. Bye bye.